What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Scotty P. If you don't know me, I'm a brown belt under Victor Posas at the Dark Side here in Houston, Texas. I've been training for about 10 years now, and I want to show you guys some highlights that I saw specifically at the ADCC West Coast Trials. I was there, and I got to see a lot of the matches, and I'm telling you, there was some fire jiu-jitsu there. So today, I just want to break down uh, one specific athlete for now, Andy Varela. He's a head coach at 10th Planet Las Vegas, and the dude, they call him the ninja, and he was doing some ninja shit. I, I can't wait to show you guys. Let's get into it. All right. Andy Varela's first match, he ends in like 30, 40 seconds off just a, a beautiful uh, hip grab. Right off of, the dude clears his collar tie, he grabs his hip, circles right to his back, and finishes him with a rear naked choke. In like 30 seconds. That's like everyone's dream to get one of those finishes and everyone's nightmare to not be finished by a rear naked choke in the first 30 seconds of a tournament. Crazy. So here it is. He grabs it, he gets a collar tie, the dude clears it, he grabs his hit, circles right around. Beautiful. One more time, one more time. Collar ties, he clears, grabs the hip, circles his way around, straight to a leg ride, takes the back, rear naked choke. Doesn't get any better than that. Now in his second match, he uses a collar tie to scoop up a head and arm. And when they go to clear it, he gets a foot sweep and just off balances them right to the mat. Check it out. He gets the collar tie, uses it to set up a head and arm. From the head and arm, as soon as he goes to pull out, he attempts a foot sweep, boom, off balances him with a, grabs his lat and his hip and just puts him right down. Doesn't get any better than that. I mean, simple and effective. And now in the same match, I want to show you this, this magic back take. He's got a head and arm. He looks like he's like half threatening for a Dars or a, a Peruvian necktie. And then goes straight for his back here. Look, Notice how he's putting pressure on the hip. And then he's looks like he's got the seatbelt on the, on the other side. And as soon as this go, dude goes to pull guard, he swings right around. Gets the near side hook in first. And then rolls him over, takes it back. I mean, that's, that's, that's textbook right there. One more time. Looks like he's setting up a Peruvian necktie, changes to go to the back, and then is using a lot of hip pressure, and then on his neck, as soon as the dude tries to square him up, he just spins right around to the back for the leg ride. Money. Money. Finishes with a rear naked choke. All right, in this next match, all right, the third match, man, beautiful. The dude goes for an arm drag. He stuffs it, blocks, and then immediately sets up his own arm drag. As soon as the dude commits to a wrist grab, he just passes it over. Man, drags him right to the ground. That's like one of my favorite ways to set up an arm drag is when they're grabbing your wrist and you just pass your wrist over and grab up under their armpit. Guys, I'm telling you, you got to watch this. I'm going to run it back one more time. His opponent goes for the arm drag, he stuffs it, passes it over, goes for his own arm drag, drags him right to the mat. Awesome. All right, now time for the ninja shit. He's going against Majid, so, so real quick. Man, this match is like straight up Cinderella story. Majid Haig was, uh, he's the number two seed going into this, and Andy Varela was the number 15th seed. So 15 going against number two, and just, I mean, a straight up clinic on the guy. So, like, what more can you ask from a guy? Like, good ass shit. So here we go. Here he's gonna do just a beautiful cut pass. He ties up with him, sees he pulls guard, boom, slides right by in the north south. Like, yo, lightning fast. One more time. Sets up call a tie, feels he's gonna pull guard, boom, steps right by into a cut pass. Straight to the north south. Amazing. Here here we go again to the back take. Head and arm. Rolls right over, takes the back. Let's do that again. He sets up the head and arm. As soon as he feels he goes to roll over and pull guard, he just follows him, gets the inside hook, rolls him over, takes the back. On a, on a top level black belt. Magic. I mean, that's like, you know, ninjas are supposed are known as fast and agile, but I mean, he's, you know, sensei level doing magic straight up. Let's move on to the next one. He's going against combat jiu-jitsu champion Alan Sanchez and does this magic back take, man, at the end of the round. Here you go, same thing, head and arm, hip pressure on the neck. 
He goes to roll out, follows him, gets the inside hook to the leg ride on a back tape. Like, monstrous. How do you even do that? How do you train that? I have no idea. Run it back one more time. He's got that same position where he's controlling that hip, and he's got that, that seat belt, grabs his hands together, rolls with him, gets that hook in, back take. Straight fire. Straight fire. All right, so now we're on to the finals of his ADCC West Coast trial runs. All right, so if you didn't know, he got second place against Andrew Tackett. But, man, that match was beautiful to watch, beautiful to watch. Here, Andrew Tackett goes for a takedown. He stuffs it head and arm, immediately drops into that butterfly sweep to a, to a mount, almost gets it. Tackett pushes him off. Man, they're in this crazy, like, guillotine chase series, and, I mean— all this is beautiful. As soon as he escapes from that one, he goes straight to a Dars. I mean, everyone else is tapping. Everyone else taps right here. So props to Tackett for pushing through and, and fighting through this. But man, look how he just keeps chaining together right back into that same guillotine. I don't even know what you call that, but that is monstrous. He ends up uh, scrambling, rolling through, and pulling guard off, off that series. Let's watch it one more time. Goes for the shot, stuffs it, head and arm, sits right through, tries the butterfly sweep. I don't even think he really used his leg. Did almost like a wrestling uh, throw. Uses it to sit him down, tries to go to mount, gets rolled over, puts him back on top, and is just trying to finish that modified head and arm guillotine. Like something we should all be adding in our game. Immediately uses his leg to pass the arm down to go for that darts. Stays on top. Continues to set it up. And man, I've never even landed that choke, but yo, that looks gnarly. And the last clip I want to show you guys is the final scramble that kind of ends it. Unfortunately, like I said, he gets second place, but yo, he was fighting the whole time and still off a great series. He dives in on the head, goes for a head and arm, and man, looks like he almost gets it, but at the last moment, Tackett's able to kind of hop over. He just keeps, I mean, look. How do you even defend against that? Just crazy. Crazy on both athletes. Wow. I was there live, and I'm telling you, it, it was like just watching the best go at it was, was truly amazing. I definitely leveled up just by watching it. I hope you guys level up by watching these highlights just like I did. And uh, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Mad shout out to Andy Varela, the ninja, doing ninja shit at the ADCC West Coast Trials. I can't wait to, to watch him compete again. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, hit like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later.